What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll show you how to optimize a Metal Gear Solid Delta for the best performance possible. That being said, this game still needs a lot of love from the developers. It's another unoptimized Unreal Engine 5 game, but we can get at least quite a bit of performance out of the game by changing the limited in-game options. And of course, using third-party mods from the modding community should make life a lot better, improving stuttery gameplay and so much more, even more than than just the usual engine.ini tweaks. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm running on a laptop, so the performance isn't the best, but at 1080p with DLSS quality, I'm setting a solid 120 FPS. I would highly recommend installing the FPS Uncap mod, which also adds great widescreen support, which you'll find linked down below if you'd like to get something similar to what I've got going on here. Even if you don't uncap your FPS, trying to optimize the game for better FPS it does mean less stutters, less frame drops, and more consistent gameplay throughout, even if you are solid consistently reaching that 60 fps cap so pausing the game heading into options followed by graphics inside of here we can get some better performance from our system starting off at the top vsync i definitely recommend turning off unless you're getting screen tearing if you install the fps uncap mod vsync and the max frame rate shouldn't really do anything max frame rate obviously we've got two options more is better set this to 60 then anti-aliasing method set this to dlss if you're on an nvidia graphics card otherwise set it to fsr for anything else as i've got an nvidia gpu i'll set it to dlss upscaling should be set to quality for a big boost in performance for example right now i'm getting 120 ish fps but if i turn off upscaling by setting it to native quality which means i'm actually rendering a full 1080p it drops to around 95 fps which is definitely not that good if you're playing a 2k or especially 4k upscaling is pretty much something you need to enable then scrolling down further i'll leave this as quality graphics quality is a preset which only changes three options below it and that's pretty much that i've benchmarked these options in a few different places and in front of me i have the results so without too much effort i'll quickly click through the different graphics quality presets just so you can see the difference and i'll speak about what we can change so starting off with the low preset moving to medium we drop from 120 fps all the way down to 80 which is a huge hit but the game looks a lot better to high another drop to 77 fps all the way up to ultra where we see a huge dip in performance down to about 57 i assume it's some sort of lighting difference that's causing most of the issue here but obviously ultra not many people are going to be playing on this especially if you're playing on anything above 1080p so for me i'd recommend setting this down to low and only changing one option that's the textures option as you can see i'm sitting at 120 if i crank the textures option from low all the way up to the highest option which is ultra you'll see no performance difference but textures should look quite a bit better as long as you have more than enough vram this should be fine currently the game's using only about 5 gigs of vram even with the textures maxed out at ultra so you should be fine to crank it up pretty much no matter what the other two options here do cause quite a dip in performance shadows at low while testing gave me 107 moving up to medium gave me 78 so a drop in about 30 fps from 100 which is pretty big moving from medium to high dropped me about 3 fps so basically nothing and then up to ultra dropped me another 14 so for the most part shadows on low versus medium is about a 30 percent difference in your fps so it's absolutely massive but personally i wouldn't play with the low shadows just because of how much better the game looks for your reference here's high basically no difference up to ultra where we drop 20 fps for nothing so if you want better shadows leave this on medium and no higher then global illumination we're setting at 90 if we move gi to medium we drop to around 80 fps and the game gets notably darker up to high 78 fps finally ultra 70 fps for the most part i do like how this affects the game but anything above the second to lowest option is obviously not the best so for me i'll be playing on medium ultra medium but for you if you're running on a much lower powered handheld for example you're pretty much stuck with low medium or ultra for textures and then low for global illumination as well 
bloom, motion blur, depth of field all have no effect on performance and the same goes for filter style down here which is quite surprising. By default the game is set to none but we have legacy which I like and a bunch of different options which is pretty good to see. For the most part the biggest boost in performance comes from upscale and quality and these two options here but obviously that's not the best as we haven't changed all that much. As long as you're comfortably getting above 60 fps the game is fine. If you're not well there's a couple more things that we can do. The modding community has expanded and got quite a bit done. On Nexus mods there's a few different mods for MGS Delta that affect performance. A lot of them are just engine.ini files that are packaged and posted on here as if they fix everything and I will be showing you one of them here but a really nice one that I've found is this one over here. Optimize tweaks, MGS team, reduce stutter, improve performance, etc. This isn't just a regular engine.ini tweak. In fact, if we head across to files, if I download the base over here, slow download, which unfortunately you will need to be signed in for, you'll download a zip with a pack file inside of it. This we just need to extract to the game's folder. If you choose to download the FSR3 frame gen file, it downloads an engine.ini file with a couple of tweaks inside of it, mostly with an engine.ini file which basically just has this one option. If you already have an engine.ini tweak, just add this and you should be fine. The readme shows you how to enable it as I just explained. So, installing the pack file. What we need to do is head across to where the game is installed. So right click it on Steam, hover over Manage and choose Browse Local Files. Then inside of this new pop-up here, open up the MGS Delta folder followed by Content and then Packs. Inside of here, we'll make a new folder. You can use the hotkey, Control Shift and N and then call it Tilde, which is the squiggly key just below Escape, which you can get by Shift clicking that button and then type Mods. Inside of this new Tilde Mods folder, you can play the pack file we just downloaded. Now it should be loaded the next time we fire up the game. That's it. What I would recommend is right clicking MGS Delta, choosing properties and on the general tab adding hyphen DX12 as such which should help improve compatibility. You can also try DX11. Now if you choose to use the FSR frame gen engine.ini tweak, you can either click at the very top in a file browser you already have open or hold the start key or the windows key and press R to bring up this. Type in percentage local app data percentage as such backslash MGS Delta. You can click it if it appears and then choose OK. Then inside of saved which is your saved configuration folder you can head into config followed by windows. In here if you have engine.ini you can open it up and we can customize it. At the very bottom of this file assuming you haven't made changes add a few new extra lines and I'll copy and paste the block from the engine.ini file which we downloaded from the same mod page. As such, save this and just to make sure the game doesn't overwrite it, you can right click it, choose properties and make sure read only is ticked. Click apply and OK. Just a quick note, to edit this file in the future, you'll need to untick read only before you can save your changes. Now fire up the game and you should see a hopefully even bigger improvement in performance. That being said, this mod doesn't always bring you extra performance but it should help improve stutters and things like that making the game a little bit more playable or at least consistent. So jumping back in, I'm sitting at a solid 90 fps which isn't the best but hopefully any stutters and things like that which we had before should be improved. Obviously if I set these two options down to low again we should see a big improvement in performance. Yep, 116-ish, it's pretty okay. But for the most part this mod should hopefully improve stability and things like that even if it doesn't give us a huge boost in performance. Something that might or the usual engine.ini suspects. These are the other main kind of mods you'll find on the Nexus mods page for MGS Delta. For example, this one over here. You'll find this linked down below. It's one of the most popular ones this far. You can head across to files and here you can download two different versions, one for variable refresh rate and one without. For me, I don't have G-Sync on this monitor, so I'll download this one here without VRR, slow download, I'll open the zip and we have an engine.ini file here with a ton of text inside of it. Scrolling down it's the default file and then we get to a bunch of different options here which you can customize and read through as you see fit. For the most part I'll take this file and place it into percentage local app data percentage slash 
MGS Delta, Saved, Config, Windows, and inside of this engine.ini file here. We can either make sure that this file is deleted. If you had read-only ticked, make sure to untick it first, and then I'll delete this file here to recreate it. So as such, then I'll copy the file we just downloaded into here, and we can quickly scroll through it. For the most part, there's not too much that we need to change here. I don't think so. But if you have an error saving it, just make sure to right-click, choose properties, and make sure read-only is unticked. Apply and OK. Now, one last time, we can fire up the game, and now hopefully things should have improved. But as you can see, there's not too much of a difference. I'm still setting it around 93 FPS, and if we drop it down to the lowest option here, low and low once more, we've moved up to 120 ish, so not a huge improvement here. But on your system, you may see a big change. Personally, these last two changes don't really do as much as just changing these two options here, which is a bit sad. The game does need a lot of love. Now remember we did set up that FSR option with frame generation. If I pause options, head across to graphics and set the anti-aliasing method to FSR, now frame generation should hypothetically be enabled. But on my system, it didn't seem to work properly. But yeah, that's really that. So hopefully this video helped you. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.